All right, hi there. Um, I'm the last one, so I uh, hope your hopes are not super, super high. Um, <laughs> but my name is Pamela Cortez. I am a connected devices developer at SparkFun, and I'm an open source advocate, too. So each day, I get random projects that I have to work on, from building a robot to doing um, tweeting a turkey. I've had that request before, uh, which is funny because I'm a vegetarian, and it came from the marketing department that they wanted me to tweet. Um, the turkey with its uh, how hot it is uh, in the oven. So I spent most of my time trying to figure out how to cook a turkey. But one of the things I'm super excited about is that more and more people are interested in wearable projects. Uh, and each day at my job, um, I teach people how easy this is, and I want to and I want to really showcase that you don't have to be an electrical engineer um, to do these type of wearable projects. That open source is an awesome way to learn um, how to work with hardware, software, or anything. Uh, and I want just to touch on what is open source. It's anything from hardware, software. There's even open source furniture, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I wouldn't trust making chairs uh, off of that, but it's pretty much you get any of those stuff and you make it free to use and modify. For example, I made this project and it's pretty much a name badge. It has my Twitter handle on there, GitHub handle on there. Uh, and the great thing about open source is that this is the hardware is completely open source. So if you wanted to make this, you can make it. The example code is on GitHub. So you can go ahead and make it yourself. Or you can actually, uh, Jackie said the, the font was too small, so she would have to be this close to, my, uh, to me uh, to read it. So she could change it and make it better and then add to this open source community. So that's why open source is really cool. And when it comes to wearables, uh, a lot of people see these finished commercial products. And reality is that a lot of commercial products actually get started with open source. If it, it might be with Android software or it might, uh, for Pebble, it's a smart watch. They actually used Arduino to, oh, do you have a Pebble? <laughs> I saw her raise her hand. Uh, they actually prototyped with open source hardware. And this is an Arduino Uno, and what's cool about it is it's really simple to get started with. And if I know I, I gave this board with tons of like hookup wire, and it looks a little intimidating. However, uh, there's a lot of hookup guides and example codes to get started with that are visual, um, and so you could see that it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to kind of jump ahead. That way I don't run over the five minutes. But a lot of people see smart watches and uh, you know, fitness products, and they're wondering what else is there to wearables. And I want to give this example is Intel Spider Dress. And <laughs> you might not wear this to the grocery store. <laughs> However, it's a really awesome example about how you could take your environment. So what this dress does is if someone approaches you, uh, it acts like, you know, when you get close to a spider, it's like <laughs> goes in defensive mode. And it creates this really cool art piece, but also teaches people that wearables is a lot more. It doesn't just have to be smart watches, and you could do more things with your environment. Another thing I hear a lot about with hardware is, do I have to solder? Uh, do I have to work with all those wires? And uh, no, you don't, especially with uh, wearables. There is conductive thread that you can work with, which is pretty awesome. It's actually thread that is coated with stainless steel, so you can sew along um, on fabric, which makes things a lot flexible, a lot more flexible. Also, it's washable, too. So you could throw your electronics into a washer machine. Make sure you take the battery out, of course. Uh, but it makes things really, really easy to sew and put it in a sewing machine. And this example here is a dancer who has a lily pad, Arduino, and a couple sensors. And it, when she dances, it creates a visual on the smartphone. And you can imagine that this would be pretty cool if you were 
actually trying to learn dance and you don't know if, if you're like me and you don't have any rhythm, uh, you can actually be told by your smartphone you don't have rhythm. <laughs> so <laughs> here's the other example of uh, it's a carbon dioxide LED project. And uh, pretty much it exactly what I just said, the LEDs blink based on its the sensor data, which you could do a lot with. And this, you can see a little bit closer up is the conductive thread that you could work with. So it could be actually, you don't have to go as crazy as a spider dress. You can have something that's a little bit more wearable on every day. So I, I wanted to end with this picture because uh, any project you can think of, you can do with uh, open source. Literally, if you typed in with, say, like this one, typed in uh, Hacker Kitty, you're going to get this. Uh, Hacker Kitty um, Arduino or Spark Core. And uh, I used to work tech support, so I've heard, I've heard every type of project out there. Uh, and all of it's doable. And I highly, highly recommend checking out Arduino, uh, checking out these a lot of companies are putting a lot of money into uh, spending time in the open source communities and outreach. And so if you have a crazy idea and you want to hack the Wi-Fi in your neighborhood, you can. <laughs> so thank you.